The Ward of Neurological Rehabilitation Admission of a patient aged 67, conscious with slurred speech after a stroke. The patient was previously hospitalized in a neurological department where causative treatment has just been terminated. The patient now requires professional rehabilitation and speech therapy, as well as psychological support to deal with present dysfunctions. Mr. Kraswick is just being admitted to the rehabilitation ward where the healthcare workers are going to assess his condition and plan further treatment. The patient is accompanied by his wife. They are both in the waiting room. Good morning. My name is Monica Savica. I'm a nurse and I'd like to assess your husband's ability to perform basic daily activities. We need to establish a detailed care plan to look after your husband in most appropriate way. Now, would you mind if I ask you a few questions concerning Ms. Kravsik's daily routine? Good morning. Of course I don't mind. Please feel free to ask me any questions. The nurse takes out the relevant documents. She will need the templates with ADL scale to rate the patient's ability to perform daily activities. Let's start then. Could you tell me if your husband requires any help with his daily bath? My husband can only move with his right arm and leg. He's half paralyzed on the left side. The process is gradually receding, but he's still unable to take a bath on his own. However, he needs no help with washing his face and hands. Also, he can brush his teeth himself. I just have to prepare the toothbrush, apply some toothpaste and pass him a mug of water. Does your husband need assistance with getting dressed and undressed? Yes, he does. He needs my help with shoelaces and buttons. That's because he can only use his right hand. Can your husband use the toilet himself or does he use any supporting equipment such as a walking stick, a walking frame or a bedpan? He does his best to go to the toilet without my help. Then he needs a walking frame to move. At night, however, he has to use disposable pads. There have been a few incidents when he has soiled himself on the way to the toilet, even when I was helping him. Does your husband have any problems with uncontrollable urination or bowel movements? As I said, my husband is generally aware when he needs to use the toilet. However, because of his partial paralysis, he sometimes doesn't reach the toilet on time. Nurse, sometimes it's not so easy to communicate with my husband. I have not mentioned this before, but he also suffers from speech difficulties. We always have a piece of paper and a pen on a bedside table in case I don't understand what he's trying to say. Then he writes it down for me. All right, that's crucial information for us. Do you have to feed your husband? No, there's no need. He can eat soups and drink without any difficulties. Yet I have to remember to blend solid foods for him so that my husband can eat just with a fork or a spoon. Thank you, Miss Kravsik, for providing us with detailed information. It will enable us to prepare a care plan that will meet your husband's individual needs. He is only partially able, so our assistance with routine daily activities is unavailable. Thank you, nurse. I really feel that you will take care of my husband in a professional and caring way. 